While ultrasound may not be the best tool for cannulating superficial veins, it is indispensable for larger, deeper veins. In this video, we will describe an out-of-plane technique of inserting a 16-gauge catheter into a brachial vein using ultrasound guidance. Here we're going to infiltrate the skin with the local anesthetics, typically about 2% lidocaine, 2 or 3 milliliters. That really makes it a lot more pleasant and easier to perform procedure. Then we're going to use a transverse view with the ultrasound probe and here we selected a 16 gauge catheter over the needle system to use as an IV. The reason why we're using a 16 gauge is because we're cannulating large vein which is the brachial vein. In addition it's easier to see an ultrasound and finally the 16 gauge catheter over the needle equipment system in our practice is the one of the longest and it is probably about five centimeter long and you really need a long needle and a catheter because you will lose a little bit of a space inside the skin with your needle and use an ultrasound so you really need to have a little bit longer needle in order to leave the catheter sufficiently deep inside the vein to prevent its dislodgement from the vein so remember when using ultrasound guidance for IV cannulation, you always have to use longer catheters. So here we go, we're going to insert the needle through the anesthetized skin, which makes the procedure much more pleasant for the patient. Now this is important, what we really want to see is, this is the brachial vein, this is the brachial artery. In here is also the median nerve, so you really have to be careful. Now what we want to do is, as we insert in the needle, towards the ultrasound probe, at some point in time, we would like to see the needle about the wall of the brachial vein. So that is the needle now, tip. We can see we inserted in the needle out of plane, but we can see what it does to the tissues. And as we continue advancing the needle, we can see the needle tip is now inside the brachial vein. So at that point in time, we're going to use something that's called a creep-up technique. What the creep-up technique really is, as you're advancing the needle and following its track with the ultrasound, you need to advance the needle and move the ultrasound probe further. Advance, move, advance, move. So you can always see the tip of the needle and the ultrasound. That's the needle tip inside the vein. And we continue moving the transducer more proximally as we are advancing that needle inside the vein. And here we can quite clearly see that we are inside the vein and we have a flashback inside the needle catheter system. At that point in time, what you want to do is remove the needle out, leaving the catheter inside. But remember, even though we have used the aeroplane technique, we have continuously followed the path of the tip of the needle inside the brachial vein. Ideally, you would rather want to use the tourniquet that's a bit away from the site of needle insertion. And now we're going to take a longitudinal view and here we can see a very nice image of the brachial vein. So that's the brachial vein. You, you need to really visualize the catheter inside the brachial vein and we're going to see the catheter in a sec. So that is a catheter that really very nicely sits inside the brachial vein. And that was the ultrasound guided IV axis using an aeroplane technique. You can also see this video as well read about IV techniques in Miller's Basics of Anesthesia on packetedu.com where you can make your own scripts, notes, upload videos and more. And how do you perform ultrasound guided IV cannulation? Do you prefer an in-plane or out-of-plane technique or is stegoderm which is used in this video adequate for probe protection during IV cannulation or do you need a full probe cover? Should the operator use sterile gloves? I invite you to share your own tips for success in the comments below the video. Thanks for watching and if you like our videos be sure to hit subscribe and press the like button so that you never miss out on our future videos and so that the other people get to enjoy the content too.